So good morning. I'm Dr. Anne Lombès, and he's uh, Dr. Aurélien Amio, and we are both working in Paris. We have been asked by the editors of Gastroenterology to present our work on the frequency of uh, mitochondrial defect in patients with chronic intestinal pseudo-obstruction, or SIPO. That work came out from the encounter between Aurélien, who is a gastroenterologist, and myself, who is uh, leading a team on inherited mit mitochondrial disorders. So, some years ago, uh, Aurélien came to my team asking a very precise question. So, I'm working at uh, Bonjour Hospital in uh, reference uh, care uh, for uh, rare intestinal disorder and non-parental nutrition. And we followed up uh, 80 patients uh, with SIPO and uh, 63 patients with idiopathic SIPO. Uh, we know that uh, primary mitochondrial defect uh, has been associated with SIPO in several case series. However, it has long been considered as a rare cause of SIPO. Uh, we undertook the study to uh, clearly assess uh, what is the, the exact frequency of mitochondrial defect uh, during SIPO. And uh, we came to Anne uh, asking for, for a flowchart uh, investigation to detect uh, those mitochondrial defects. So, as you know, investigation of mitochondrial disorders uh, are a disputable field. We had to choose the parameter that were easily set up in Beaujon Hospital and that would uh, give a high frequency of abnormality if a uh, mitochondrial defect uh, was present. And uh, this w these parameters were, of course, thymidine phosphorylase activity, uh, an assay that can be performed in blood leukocytes. Then the assay of the blood uh, lactate level, uh, brain imaging, because this brain imaging is known to be uh, frequently altered even in the absence of clinical symptoms in patients with a mitochondrial defect and then uh, a muscle biopsy on which uh, were performed histochemical analysis of mitochondrial activities including cytochrome C oxidase and succinate dehydrogenase. With these uh, four uh, parameters, we had uh, the surprise to find quite a high frequency of mitochondrial defect in the cohort of patients followed in Beaujon Hospital. So we identified uh, 15 patients uh, with uh, primary mitochondrial defect, accounting for 19% of the whole study cohort. Uh, timidine uh, phosphorylase mutation was found in uh, five patients. A novel uh, polymerase gamma gene mutation was found in five. And the melas mutation of the transfer RNA leucine gene was found in two. In uh, three remaining patients, we didn't find uh, any genetic cause because uh, two were lost during follow-up and uh, one uh, did not permit to, to find anything uh, despite uh, complete analysis. Uh, comparing uh, mitochondrial and non-mitochondrial SIPO patients, we didn't find any uh, difference in uh, gastrointestinal presentations. However, there was a, a poor nutritional status uh, in the mitochondrial SIPO patient with uh, more uh, parenteral nutrition requirements, uh, less BMI, and also a poor, uh, a poor prognosis with uh, more mortality. So the, the discussion of this paper is uh, first that this, this almost 20% mitochondrial defect in SIPO patient is a minimal estimate because all our parameter had false negatives risk, and also uh, uh, the clinical presentation of this patient. All these patients had extra intestinal symptoms. However, at the beginning of their disease, they had not always these extra intestinal symptoms. So that's uh, one of the points to be discussed. Another point is uh, the uh, candidate genes that may be found in those patients where we didn't find these three main causes of uh, SIPO. That's it.